Hi, I'm Sharon, and I'm a Christian. Let me tell you about a story of something that happened to me the other day. I went into the bathroom and I noticed a small cricket in the bathtub. Now because I'm not a very big fan of bugs, I decided I was going to lead it to its end. I did this by opening the tap and when the water would come out, I was hoping that it was going to drown the cricket. But the water was coming from here and the cricket was around here. That wasn't exactly solving my problem. So what I did is I let the water flow toward me and as it came, I would splash the cricket from its side. And now instead of just staying there, of course the cricket hopped away from the water, but the direction I was splashing it from was leading it to the biggest stream. Eventually it hopped right into the flow of the gushing water and it went straight down the hole and I didn't have to deal with it again. It was gone. And after that, it was like the old Veggie Tales theme song, if you know that. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. Anyway, I was thinking, you know, that cricket ran away from a series of little problems, but that led it to a much bigger problem. You know, the cricket is no longer with us because it ran away from its little problems. And I thought of me. I thought, sure, I run away from my little problems sometimes, eh? I just ignore them, I hide away from them, I let them grow into things that become bigger problems later. What's that ultimately going to lead to, you know, if I just keep hiding, if I don't stand up to them and stay and stand my ground, you know? If that cricket hadn't hopped all the way away from its problems, it wouldn't have drowned, which would have been bad for me, but better for the cricket. It also made me think of a verse in, a Bible verse in Mark, it's 8 verse 34 and I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. And Jesus called to him the throng with his disciples and said to them, If anyone intends to come after me, let him deny himself, forget, ignore, disown and lose sight of himself and his own interests and take up his cross and joining me as a disciple and siding with my party, follow me continually cleaving steadfastly to me. The cross is a problem, it's not a good thing. It's what Jesus died on and that was nasty. And in my daily life, there's many things that I sometimes will call a cross, especially in my spiritual life because the flesh, my flesh, the world, Satan, they're all against me in my journey to live as a true child of Christ. So if I avoid the problems that come up, the issues and things I'm supposed to deal with, you know, instead of fighting a temptation, I give in to it, or instead of standing my ground in a relationship and going and doing the hard work of dealing with whatever the problem might be, I ignore it and I let it, you know, turn into something unhealthy. That's, a, that's running away from a problem. Or if, if I have an opportunity to tell somebody about Christ, and I, I don't take it. If I have the chance to go out of my way for somebody like Jesus would, and instead I ignore it and just run away from that place, I'm being like that little cricket. And at that time I might think, oh, it's just a small thing, it doesn't really matter. But what direction is it steering me in, you know? What bigger problem might there be? I mean, Jesus later went on to say in that same area that someone who doesn't want to give up their life for him is going to lose it, ironically. And that's a lot more serious than dealing with the problems every day of, that come with following Jesus. So if I was to tell it to myself, the point of this is, Sharon, don't run away from problems, deal with them. That's hard. <laughs> Fortunately, the Holy Spirit's my helper he can be yours too, especially if you already know him. And if you don't, go ahead and ask me. I can tell you more about it or ask someone that you know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.